Welcome to this episode of Just Lovely Living. Here's where we create the atmosphere for you to celebrate your grace, beauty, and style. I'm your host, Tanya D. Bryant, and today we are working on another crafting project. So let's get started. So we're going to get started on a floating shelf uh, that's going to be placed by my front door. So when I come in, I'll be able to have my keys, I can place my keys there, and then I have a slot here for mail. Now, what I've done is I found a file folder holder. So this typically would hold file folders, and that's what this is. Um, it's plastic, so I just wiped it down, make sure that the surface was clean. What I'm going to do is take rope and place it all around. I got the rope from Dollar Tree. It was a dollar for 13 feet. And I had some old potpourri. I'm gonna use this potpourri to decorate my shelf as well. What I'm gonna do is start from this corner here and I have a glue gun. I bought the glue gun from Hobby Lobby's. It was $14 and I had a 50% off coupon. I always get stuff in the mail from them or by email. So it came with about 10 rolls of the glue. It came with a stand, which this can come off as well. So it was a nice quality one. Um, it has a high and low function as well. $14 and then I got 50% off. So I felt like I got a good deal. We're gonna start this way. And I think what I'm gonna do, place the glue here along the edge. This might be faster to do it this way. And then we're going to start with the rope. What has gotten me started on this project and the other four projects that I have too is one night I, I was just obsessed with YouTube and seeing all these different videos of how you can make things with just your everyday items that you have at home. So it's during this time that most of us are sheltered in place, right? And so I was trying to figure out what was I gonna do, you know, once you watch movies and some other things and read, how am I gonna entertain myself? So doing crafts is what I decided to do. I also started to redo my bathroom so that was another motivation to do some crafts as well some of the other projects I have is going to be for my bathroom it's all on the side here I'm not trying to really be straight and I wanted something with texture I had a couple of other options that I was looking at I have these um, stick and peels that you put on your shelves. I was going to use that to cover it up. And then I found this at the Dollar Tree, a darker color. I decided to go with the rope because I wanted some texture. Um, in my living room, I have neutral colors, your browns, um, beige even like um, an orange tone, like a rustic orange tone flowers that are in my sofa there with the pillows. So I just wanted something with some texture. And although this will take a little bit longer than just putting the paper on, I decided to go with the rope, right? And I think this would be a nice contrast to go with the rope as well.
as you see, I have finished the top. I realized I want to put a piece of rope around the edge here at the top. So when you're looking at it, you're not going to see the plastic. So I want to put one right here around the top. So I came up with another idea to add to this. I had these small little chalkboard pieces. When I would do setups, uh, displays with my lipstick, I would put the prices on here. So what I'm going to do is take this off of here and I'm going to put this in the middle so I can write in here mail, keys, or even just a short little message that I can see before leaving the house or something like that. So I'm, I'm going to put that right in there. Another idea I just came up with. As you see, I finished the front, and it's not perfect here. There's some edges that I had to cut, but what I'm going to do is hide that. With, when I start decorating this, I'll be able to hide some of the imperfections. So that's the front with the little chalkboard. And I also put an edge around here in the front. And then now I'm going to do this last side. I'm not going to have enough to do the bottom, but just the side here. So now that I have all my sides completed, and I'm even thinking about doing the bottom, going to buy some more rope to finish the bottom. So I'm not 100% sure but I am thinking about that. But now I'm gonna start decorating it with my potpourri. That's what these pieces are. And this ball here, I'm gonna have that ball at the bottom of it there. Okay, so this is what I came up with for the front. And the sides in the back are the same. So that's what we have so far. This next step, I'm going to mark where I'm going to drill my two holes for the screws so I can put it on the wall. So I'm just gonna measure, try to get this centered here. I just mark two areas. Let me see about three inches in. And do the same from this side to about three inches in. So for this particular project, I put on hold for a little bit because I needed a drill. As you see here, I tried to put a hole through this with a nail and it split the plastic. I, I have a drill, but it wasn't working. So I ordered this drill off of Amazon. So I'm going to drill two holes in here so that I can put my screws in there. To this is this ball here which is a part of that potpourri set I'm gonna add this on the bottom as you see I didn't have enough rope to cover the bottom so I put this burlap ribbon to fill in the space in between and no one's really gonna see the bottom of this anyway 
So that was my replacement for not having enough rope on the bottom. For the nails that I will be using, um, this is the length, not sure the exact um, inches on this nail, but I didn't want too long or too short. And this was something in the middle. So this is the one that I selected to put my floating shelf up. So now we're just gonna screw this into the wall and we'll be all done. So here is the finished project. It was a little challenging uh, getting this on the wall. I had to see if I can put one of the screws up in the right hand corner and one in the middle so that it would kind of prop itself up. So that was a little challenging. Overall, I love the way that it came out. This is my little floating shelf. And the little ball at the bottom there, you see. I'm gonna put a tray on the top. My keys and that's it.